Welcome back. You're watching Vaticano. Literally right by the Spanish steppes towers an old 17th century Roman palace. Inside, away from the masses of tourists, the Keats and Shelley Museum is located. A hidden gem for everybody interested in romantic literature. It is not by chance that this house hosts the museum. This is exactly the house, because we're still fortunate that it's here today. Uh, John Keats arrived here on the 15th of November 1820 in the company of the artist Joseph Seven. Uh, John Keats, like many of his, of his fellow romantic poets and many of the, the poets and artists of previous generations, had dreamed about coming to Rome. Uh, but he came here particularly uh, for one very good reason, and that was his tuberculosis. He hoped that the milder uh, Roman climate would alleviate his suffering. That, of course, was a, a vain hope, for he died in this house three and a half months later. Inside, the visitor can admire a collection of memories of the author. It has been a museum, it has been opened as a public uh, museum and library since 1909. The Keats Shelley Memorial Association was founded in uh, 1903 and it opened officially as a museum six years after that and it has continued to be a museum since that time. To this day visitors can see many uh, books, first editions, manuscripts, uh, including letters as well as literary manuscripts of the poets, uh, but also portraits, uh, paintings, busts. Uh, sculptures, uh, paintings, uh, and also relics of things that belong to the poets, and indeed uh, locks of hair, personal affects, things of that nature. A recent acquisition was a book, a childhood possession of John Keats, and signed by himself. Uh, Keats's childhood copy of Tacitus, the Orationes Omnis of Tacitus, which is a collection of the, the historical speeches that the Roman writer Tacitus put together. And it's a, it's a great thing for us to have, not only because it belonged to Keats and it has his signature and, and his handwriting in the book, but also because, like many of classical books, it was published uh, during the Renaissance in Italy, in Brescia in 1601, but, like many classical books, found its way over to, to England during the Grand Tour. And it's quite nice that it's come home again, it's come to Italy. Another relic is kept in this apartment of yet another English poet, Oscar Wilde. Wilde, after a wild life, during which he had visited Rome multiple times and even had received the papal blessing by Pope Leo XIII, converted on his deathbed to Catholicism. The Keats House has an original handwritten letter from him. In the Keats House, old heritage is not just preserved, but brings poetry to life through a variety of events. We, we do many poetry readings, contemporary poetry readings, but we also do uh, academic and biographical talks as well around the poets and also, by extension, the relationships with Italy on the Grand Tour, on, um, on more academic matters as well. So we have good links with scholars, with writers, with historians, with biographers as well. But we also have an active temporary exhibitions programme and we try to do at least one major exhibition every year.